I've been working on an Angular V19 update for my course, and one of the apps in my course serves as a sort of playground for more advanced RxJS concepts. Mostly for the sake of seeing how far I could push signals for learning purposes, I wanted to see how much of the RxJS I could remove in favour of signals for this app. I didn't expect the result to be actually kind of nice, and potentially even better than the RxJS only version. To give a little context, here is what makes this application interesting and complex. First we have this search bar that reacts to user input and will automatically fetch data from the Reddit API, but it is debounced so that we don't fire off too many unnecessary requests. The response from the API will be processed locally, making sure that only GIFs are kept as opposed to just any post, and if a single API request does not produce enough valid GIFs, it will automatically relaunch a secondary request to get more data. And it will keep doing this either until we have enough GIFs or we have reached the maximum number of retries. The data is also paginated such that when we get to the end of the list, it will automatically load in more data. And if we switch subreddits, it will clear the data and fetch data from the new subreddit. And we want to do all of this mostly declaratively. RxJS is a very natural fit for this scenario because there is just a ton of asynchronous stuff going on that needs to be coordinated. This is what the existing RxJS solution looks like, and for comparison, the Signals version, which does still utilize RxJS in some areas. I'm only going to focus on the new Signals version in this video, but the key differences are that by incorporating the new resource API and linked signal, we are able to get rid of a few things. We get rid of this state for tracking errors and loading because we get that for free via the resource signal now. We no longer need to subscribe to any sources in the constructor to pull values out of RxJS and into signals because we are just using signals right away now. If you're curious about what is going on here and why there are manual subscribes, you might want to check out the previous video that I'll link in the description. And this GIFs loaded RxJS stream has been partially replaced by signals. We do still use RxJS for the expand part of this stream, which is how we are able to recursively refetch from the Reddit API until we have enough data. So at a surface level, I think the code looks nicer and shorter, but it doesn't necessarily mean that signals are the right tool here. Let's look at how this actually works. First, we have our subreddit change stream, which is just a stream of values from a form control that is being debounced. We then convert that stream into a signal. Next up, we have this paginate after source, which is how we keep track of pagination with the Reddit API. The basic idea is that this will be the ID of the last post we fetched previously. Then the next time we make a request, we will return results after that post. The interesting thing here is that we are utilizing a linked signal, which as we discussed in the previous video, is sort of like a computed signal, but it also allows us to write to it manually. I've set this up so that whenever the subreddit signal changes, this computation will run, which just sets the paginate after value back to null. This is how I reset the pagination back to the beginning when the subreddit changes. Then to actually trigger the next page, I write to this linked signal with whatever the ID of the last GIF we have retrieved is. Then we get to our GIFs loaded source, which is where we fetch data from the Reddit API using the resource API. Again, we've touched on this already in a previous video, so I'll link to that if you want a bit more context about how resource works. But notably here, we are actually using Rx resource, which allows us to use RxJS to execute the request. So whenever the paginate after or subreddit signals change, it will trigger a call to the Reddit API via this observable. As I mentioned before, I'm still utilizing RxJS here to handle the recursive retries to the Reddit API with the expand operator. Now our GIFs loaded resource will contain the data loaded from Reddit, as well as the error and loading signals we get for free, which we can utilize in the UI. But we're not quite done because this will just give us the data for the last request to the Reddit API. When the paginate after or subreddit signals change, the data would just be changed to whatever the new request returns, discarding the existing data. But we want a way to accumulate these values over time. Each time we trigger a page load, we want extra results to be added to the current results because we have this infinite scrolling setup. But not always. If we change subreddits, we do want to clear out any existing GIFs and only load in the new ones from the new subreddit. Fortunately, a more advanced implementation using linked signal can achieve this for us. Just like with our other linked signal, we have a source, in this case our GIFs loaded value, 
and a computation that runs whenever that value changes. But this time we also pass in the current source as in the value that GIFs loaded has just changed to. And this previous parameter, which will contain both the previous source and value the last time the computation ran. In this way, we are able to accumulate values using the previous value and the current value, but we can also add in these special cases. This will be triggered initially and when a page is currently loading, and this is used to detect if the subreddit has changed since the last load, in which case we don't want to accumulate values, we just want to return only the new values for the new subreddit. And that's the gist of how all of this works. It's obviously somewhat complex, but the requirements we are working with here are somewhat complex. Given the complexity, I think this code is actually quite succinct and readable, and it's more declarative than the original solution. I'm not 100% sure which approach I prefer yet for this situation, but I'm leaning toward the signals approach. I was initially skeptical of the use of linked signal, but it's turning out to be quite a powerful tool. So let me know what you think in the comments, and if you found this video useful, please consider leaving a like or subscribe before you go, and I hope to see you back here again.